Hey, I am casual today. It's uh, Casual Friday, and I just got out of two back-to-back wrongful death trials where they were both multi-week trials, and I thought I'd take a Casual Friday, so I apologize for being casual. But this topic that I'm covering is, is quite serious, and that is dealing with um, when you're suing somebody for either a car wreck, medical malpractice, nursing malpractice, and you're naming that person individually. Does that mean that that person is now, if you win, like we have, like recently got $16 million against one company and we confidentially settled with another company, if you, if, you, um, if you get a judgment against an individual, does that mean that person is now destitute? The short answer is no, because no lawyer that's doing this is just doing it to make somebody destitute. We're not going to sue somebody either in a car wreck case or any kind of case and just get a big judgment against them so they have to file bankruptcy. That is not what this is about. What this is about is making up for the losses that somebody has, either with the loss of a loved one or the loss of a limb or the loss of a sense or, or serious loss, some kind of disability from somebody's negligence. We're making up, compensating them for that loss with the judgment. Okay, And if that judgment is not going to get paid by some source, insurance policy or some big corporation that's self-insured, then what's the point of doing this, right? It's not to just prove a fact that a car, that somebody that drove a car uh, did wrong. It's actually to collect and make our client whole. And we're a business too. We get paid in the process. So why would a business that's in the business of making money for people that are injured or killed, ever pursue people that can't pay the judgment? That's not what this is about. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about, oh, why is this person going after this individual? Or why are they not uh, uh, suing the corporation? Many times, a person involved in a lawsuit is working in the line and scope of their job for the company. It could be a healthcare company, it could be a hospital, it could be a, um, a pizza place, DoorDash. They're working in the line and scope of their duties. If they're working in the line and scope of any job and they cause an injury or death, the company's responsible for the actions of that agent while they're working. And why is the agent being sued? Well, the agent is a party to the case too because the agent is acting on behalf of the company and the law says a judgment against that, that employee is just like a judgment against the company. And the collection, of course, will be against the company's assets, the company's insurance policy that covers the individual. So, if you have questions about a case where somebody's been hurt really bad or killed, God forbid, from uh, the negligence of an employee who is working for a company, whether it be in a hospital or a DoorDash or any kind of company, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can call us at 855 Hire Joe.